It's game day for Aggie Volleyball, Texas A&M, and Texas over at Reed tonight, 7 o'clock. And we'll get to that game in just a little bit. Ashley Reeser, back. Hello. She came to visit. I did. We didn't scare you away after the first time? No, never. It's all good. <laughs> she says never, but she, she hasn't had full experience of the show yet. <laughs> Any uh, trouble getting teammates uh, once they've heard about this? No. They're all pretty willing. Everybody's right, good? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you get uh, you get the honor of introducing yeah, you get to the introduce uh, your the tens true. and tens of people yeah. listening to uh, who you brought with you today. Yeah. I did. So this is uh, Gabby Flitwin. She's from Allen. Mm -hmm. She's a super senior, and she's yeah. on the volleyball team. Do you guys get the Dallas Houston San Antonio rivalries going on your uh, on your team a little bit? A little bit. Yeah. I, I saw mean, you just you just shriveled your nose up a little bit when I said Dallas. It's is more that more like Dallas and Houston people? And then it's like in San Antonio, it's like me and Amy Nettles because we went to the rival high schools. She all run it a little bit. Yeah. Where did Amy and Nettles go? Churchill. Churchill, yeah. yeah. The Chargers and the Rattlers, huh? Isn't that what they are? Yeah. Chargers, Churchill, yeah. Churchill, Chargers. Yes. And then well, and she went where there's that ridiculously incredible high school football stadium up there. I've never seen oh, anything. Oh, Allen. Never Allen. seen anything yeah. like it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, it's, but is there like San Antonio over here, Dallas over here, like is there – do you root for the Spurs and do you root for the Mavericks and does yes. that go on amongst the team Spurs. stuff like yeah? Spurs. I mean, it's hard to be a Mavericks fan, but got to stay true to my roots. But we both like the Cowboys. Yeah. I was gonna say a lot of we people from like San Antonio Cowboys. like the Dallas Cowboys. We do. Okay, so you guys can come together on some things, but <laughs> yeah. but I mean, I know people from San Antonio. They get pretty rabid about the Spurs. They do. Yeah. It it that's Ashley intense does, stuff. <laughs> 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 Me and Amy, yeah. both of us. Me and Amy, Amy are very San Antonio prided people. Okay, so, but that's yeah. what they've got to be proud for from a professional standpoint. That's all we got. It's the Spurs. Yeah, what well, are you gonna do like if like the rampage. San Antonio ever <laughs> acquires like an NFL team? You know, and the Spurs have to split time with somebody. <sighs> See, I don't know. How I, feel I think that I think San Antonio likes it that way. I, I think, think they yeah. just like their Spurs. Yeah, and because then if, they, if you get a football team, you have to compete with Jerry Jones or the Cowboys, and yeah. then which won't happen. Yeah, and <laughs> you know, no one competes with Jerry, so. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Got it on we like the Spurs, and then we have like the Rampage, our hockey team. But like, I don't know. There's a WNBA team so and the Silver, Silver Stars. Stars yeah. yeah, it's gonna be Spurs all the way. <laughs> yeah. it just is yeah. what it is. <laughs> yeah. It is what it is. <laughs> uh, speaking of rivalry, though, tonight, seven o'clock at Reed for the first time in six years, the Longhorns are coming to College Station. Ashley is a senior on this team and a veteran. I know you all have met Texas multiple times since joining the SEC, but it's been in the postseason, and you got to play last year in the regular season in Austin. How much fun is it? For you, especially growing up in this state, to have these guys back at Reed in front of the 12th man. Yeah, it's going to be so fun because, like you said, in front of the 12th man, the past couple of times we've played them, we've played at Texas, especially my uh, three years being here. Um, it's just a very high level of volleyball we're going to play against, and all of us know most of the Texas players just from being from Texas and then playing in Simmons Club and growing up and stuff like that. Um, but it's going to be a very high, intense game, and I know there's going to be a lot of emotion towards it because, you know, the rivalry, we all want to beat Texas if you go to A&M. Um, but, yeah, it's fun, and it's going to be cool seeing uh, all the fans that come out. I know a lot of club teams want to come because it's you don't really get to see us play each other very much. And Gabby, for you, I know uh, we've had our fair share of some really nice student crowds mm -hmm. at Reed Arena over the years. i got to think that it's probably not going to be anything like we'll see tonight as the yeah. horns come to town. How excited are you to – uh, how much fun is it for you to play in front of when you get that large student body roll up on that side of the of the gym? How much fun is it to get out on the court in front of them? It's very fun. Like the 12th man is something that I love to have when I'm playing because it's so loud. But then like when you're on the court, you can kind of channel in and just like really focus on the game. But during timeouts, I'll like look up and see all the fans in the crowd. And it just like motivates me a lot. Yeah, We, we kind of were in awe of the schedule, the non-conference schedule you guys put together before the season. Mm -hmm. Well, now you're kind of in the midst of it. We've seen you play the Penn State, Stanford's, and Wisconsin's, and now it's Texas. I mean, do you like this because it's almost extra focus all the time knowing this competition that you're going up against? Yeah, I mean, I think – I think Gabby can agree with me. We, we really wouldn't want it any other way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We want to play the top programs. We want to, you know, show the world that – uh, Texas A&M is a volleyball school. We can compete with the Penn States, the Stanfords, the Wisconsin's. Um, even though we have lost to those three, we have learned so much about our team. And, you know, that Penn State game was probably one of the most fun games to ever play in and watch because, you know, 
people think that they'll come to A&M or they'll come to Aggieland and they're just going to roll over us and we're just not really a, a good team. But I think we surprised a lot of people. And I know that uh, Lori told us after the game that Russ Rose, the coach for Penn State, said that it was fun playing against us and we gave him some good competition. And Texas isn't going to be any different. Mm-hmm. Um, we're really excited. I know that coming to A&M, we dream to play Texas. I know a lot of sports want to play Texas. You know, football has probably been itching to get their turn, but we're lucky that we were able to. So I wouldn't want it any other way. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. And for you, Ashley, too, you take this team on the road for the first time this last weekend in Madison. You're playing in one of the uh, wildest environments in the country over the weekend in Wisconsin. What specifically did you learn about your group getting on the road with them for the first time this year? Because you've got that different dynamic. You've got a bunch of newcomers and then, of course, the veterans as well. What did you learn about your squad? Yeah, I think uh – it shows that we can handle kind of any situation we're put in. You know, against Lipscomb, there was not that much of a crowd because, you know, Wisconsin wasn't playing. But Saturday night, um, they sold out the game. There were 6,000 fans there. And I think I don't, I've never played in front of 6,000 fans, and I don't think Gabby has either. Um, but it shows the kind of the maturity that we have. You know, we have the senior class and we have the upperclassmen, but the freshmen – fit in just fine yeah. you know they'll they, they have their little spurts of nerves where they get nervous about certain things but they are very mature the people that are, that are playing it's really fun to watch them it's going to be cool to watch them grow especially the next three years for them sample any good cheeses up there <laughs> did we? that's what they I do some. we went to uh, we got a chance to go to the farmer's market did oh, you go? Yeah. no i didn't go a couple in madison went. there mm-hmm. yeah okay and there is a bunch of cheese samples cheese curds but yeah i hear they do it well yeah it's squeaky i've never been to wisconsin it was nice. Yeah. Squeaky cheese. Yeah, squeaky cheese. <laughs> hey, at, I like it. At, at some point, every show, the show turns yeah. to food. It just, does. Just, I noticed yeah. that. Yeah. Once, <laughs> we, once we yeah. hear people's road trips, it's always you know, like if you guys ever play in Boise, we're going to ask if you had potatoes or something That's like true. that. So. I'm, I like potatoes. I'm a potato yeah. fan, so I'd be happy. Yeah. <laughs> Gabby, when you guys are on the road, do you try as best you can to sort of get a feel for the towns, maybe go walk around a little bit, or is it is it mainly just walk in, play the match, and walk out? Um, it's mainly walk in, play the match, and walk out. I mean, if we have free time, we will explore if we can, but we're, it's like a business trip. So we're there to get the dub and then get out. Yeah. How do you guys work this on the road? Do you got to pick your own roommates? Do the coaches assign them? Or the do coaches you? Yeah, coaches assign who, who you're with. Do you go different on different trips or you usually got the same one? Different. Different, okay. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just so you can kind of get a few. Sometimes you're with, p- put with people that you don't really know that much about, so it gives you the opportunity to get to know them better. So. Do you make the freshmen carry your bag to the room? <laughs> no. No. We Have should, you thought we about should. it? That's a good idea. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> okay. That's a great idea. Well, okay. Yeah. get on this. Yeah. <laughs> I like yeah. that. Speaking of freshmen, uh, your first collegiate year, uh, Gabby, was at Mississippi State yes. in the SEC. And we've been to Starkville a few times since uh, joining this league, and I always thought it was – a very pretty campus. It is. You know, I mean, just your thoughts on staying in the SEC when you make the transfer here, and what did you like about that trip in the SEC your first year over in Starkville? Um, Starkville was a great opportunity. Um, the reason why I did transfer is because I wanted to be on another level of volleyball mm-hmm. and competition, and mm-hmm. I didn't see that happening in Starkville. Mm-hmm. But it was a great school academically, and it was beautiful. Mm-hmm. It was a little small for me. Yeah. The only thing I had was Walmart. But <laughs> <laughs> but well, you fixed that we've got like two, two or yeah. three of those yeah. in this area. <laughs> yeah. I, I always thought that A&M was a bigger Starkville for me. Yeah. So. That's kind of accurate. Yeah. Yeah. But, I, I mean, I've been there for football games, and the football team stays outside of a town. They're mm-hmm. never if – if they play in Starkville, they don't stay in Starkville. So you basically kind of like the get-in, get-out thing. You just bust to the stadium, play the game, and get out. But I've always thought the campus – there was so pretty it was when so you bust pretty, through yeah. it and, and things like that. So, but a good place. But glad you're here now. <laughs> yeah, we are too. We are too. Yeah. It worked out. Uh, Seven o'clock, folks. Tonight, Texas, the Longhorns come into Reed Arena. It is Fish Camp Night. Uh, of course, students with a student with a sports pass, you get in free. If for some reason you're a fish camper, you do not have a sports pass, then you come in. It's just three dollars. But Fish Camp Night, we expect a very large student crowd. It should be a whole heck of a lot of fun and. Ashley, looking ahead just a little bit mm-hmm. after we've talked about this brutal stretch of the schedule, you guys have a weekend off, yeah. which is very rare. Mm-hmm. Are you excited about uh, being a normal college student for a few days? Are you going to go to the football game? Yeah, we. Um, that is super exciting. You know, we get to go to some games. We don't kind of get to experience the whole thing, you know, the tailgating and just hanging out with friends and just having fun. But, yeah, we, we get a weekend off, and I think – 
honestly, after this schedule, we probably need it. Just kind of rest yeah. our bodies a little bit. And then we don't play until next Friday. So mm -hmm. we'll have a good couple of days, good couple of strong practices before we open up with LSU at LSU. Um, but yeah, I think we're definitely going to take advantage of the opportunity just to kind of be lazy a little bit and lay in bed. So At LSU, Will, and if you want to go and help them find some good restaurants. Yeah, come to Baton Rouge with don't us. Don't take him with you. <laughs> <laughs> He'll start throwing things. At the I've got my list of food. I grew yeah. up down there. So uh, it's, yeah. I want to go to Cafe Du Monde. Never been. That's a not bit of a they don't have yeah, it in Baton, Baton Rouge, Rouge. It's, right? Isn't yeah. it in New Orleans? Yeah. It's hey, New Orleans. We'll we found you. one. Hey, no, we found tell one. Lori to take him to Paul Rains. We found a beignet place two years ago. Oh, yeah. We ate beignets. Oh, man. What was it called? Hey, we'll find it. We'll <laughs> it was, close to, it was close to the hotel. It okay. was a short yeah. walk. It okay. was a short walk. Cool. Well, guys, Texas tonight, pretty fun. Yes. Yeah. Best Very. of luck. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It'll be pretty fun. It's going to really looking forward to it.